From the RFQ list, you'll want to look at one of the RFQ tiles and select its name. Once you do that, you're going to land on the RFQ details page. From here, you can first view the buyer's information, and if you would like to review that, you can go over to the right hand side and click the view profile button above the logo. Next thing you want to do is review the parts. You can look at the part row here and expand it. If you need to download the files, you click download all files or you can download the files individually. You then review the rest of the RFQ overview, the shipping, and the NDA. You can mark this for quoting here to get back to it later. You quote it now, or you can transfer the RFQ to another member of your manufacturing team. Now on to the Quotes tab. Once you land on the Quotes tab, you're going to have to accept the shipping and payment terms. And if the parts are going to be made in the United States, you need to verify that. You can also give your quote an internal reference number. Give it a valid until date for when the quote expires. And then now it's time to quote the part. Once you hit quote now, the quote part drawer will open up. This will allow you to put a price on each of the parts. This includes the tooling, miscellaneous, and shipping cost that might be related to the parts and making them. So you would fill out these fields to whatever it must be. And then the next thing you're going to do is click save. And once you've clicked save, you will receive a green check mark on your part showing you that it has been quoted and is complete. You'll then want to submit your quote. You can see it's successfully done. And when you do that, the buyer will receive an email and an in-app notification letting them know that they have a quote on this part. The next is the messages tab. This is where everything will be stored for the messages that come in from the buyer. And then your revisions tab where if the buyer makes an edit to the RFQ, you'll be able to see it. And that is how you view the RFQ.